Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go from this to this to this. These are stickers. So stay tuned until the end and I'll show you how it happens. Let's begin. I'm using this new Winsor & Newton watercolor little pad that I got last week and which you can find out about if you just watch this video mentioned above. First I'll draw them and then I'll paint them. My theme is motifs of fall. So I'm using a 2H pencil from a Stadler Mars Lumograph. What is more indicative of fall than pumpkins? And I saw one in a bin at the local grocery store yesterday and it actually did have a little curly piece of vine on it. Don't ever be afraid to erase and fix. There are all the drawings now, so let's get started. I decided to remove these from the notebook because while one's drying I can work on another one and save time that way. So this one, this is new for me, this paper, it's entirely new so this is experimental on my part as well, seeing how it performs and how 100% cotton, which I haven't used for some time, actually works and looks. This one with the wild geese flying across the sky because where I grew up on the prairies in October, the sky was full of geese because we lived in the wild goose flyway. So whenever I hear geese going over in the fall, I get very homesick for the prairies. And now I live near the west coast of Canada, but it still kind of calls me back.
one is a little bit experimental as you will see. What I'm doing is I've put some cotton swabs together with an elastic and I've created some puddles of paint. So I'm just going to create a tree and I've got a, a really light sketch of the stem there and we're just going to go like this. Obviously not enough water in that one. But I mean you have to have lots of water because the Q-tips just suck it right up. picking up some orange, just turning this around. I'm using the same end so that it blends, but now I'm turning it around. I'm going to put in some darker red and then some really red red. So there's our little tree. Now we also want some on the ground obviously, so I need to mix up some more because I've all been soaked up but I don't want as many. So. Now, once that's dry, which it almost is, because it went down quite dry, it needs a trunk. So I'm just going to put in kind of a grey trunk here, some striations, and make the branches fit around where the leaves would be, just in little tiny indications using the very tip of my brush. Now, if you like, you can always go back in. If, you, if you're following along and want to do some painting, you can also go back in with a brush and just darken some of these up, just for some more contrast. And also throw some more on the ground. So there, that's super simple and fun. Now, the next step is to scan all of these and create stickers out of them. So I've got, I used both sides as you can see. One, two, three, four, Six and seven. So I'll go do that and I'll be back in a moment. Here's my sheet of stickers. I added a few to it that from artwork that I already had, like these pumpkins and the leaves, so that we'd have more. And they're a little on the large side because I like them for decorating my planner. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them and cut them with my Cricut machine. And I'll be right back. These are my stickers. And all the stickers are now available in my shop at summerbaystudio.com and they're on sale. You can download, print and cut and voila, you've got some beautiful fall stickers. I think you'll also enjoy some of these videos and I'll see you next time.